Eh? Still not all the way down. <gasps> There's no way. There's no way. I should go break the bumper off. What a what an intro. What a what an intro. Time to work. Time to work. Time to work. Time to work. Cause uh, when we when we put the wheels on the other day, it was black. It was dark out, and now um, it's not black out. So guess what? We're gonna get it done. So right now we're on 50k springs all around. Right? We got. 4 inch 50Ks in the front, 5 inch 50Ks in the rear. But there's a slight bit of a problem, okay? So you see how the side skirt's now on the ground, right? That's good, that's fantastic. That's where I want the car to be. That's fantastic. But! Catch you up. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, just watch. If I hit a bump, the car bottoms out. That's not good. The way I had the height set up was if the suspension traveled, what it traveled to, the car would barely bottom out and hit the ground. But now that we're lower, we need to hold it a little better. So what are we gonna do? Ugh, gosh. These things are really heavy. These things are actually like, I'm gonna put those down. We got some 100 keys. Disconnect the strut from the inside, jack it up, take the wheel off, and uh, let's get these springs swapped out. I can't get over these wheels, honestly. They just look like so cartoonish. Like they don't look real, honestly. Let's pop this strut out and uh, get this all taken apart. Well, there's new, there's new issues that have arose and um, I can't get the strut out. So uh, I'll be switching the spring in here. Let's take the center nut off and then pop the spring out, pop the new spring on, put the center nut back in and then that's it, we're done. That's it, finito. So yeah, let's uh, swap that out real quick. I literally wasn't gonna work on the car today and I was just like, eh, F it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on the car, why not? Um, I should have known I shouldn't because I went to take the center nut out and everything just soaked, soaked. It unscrewed itself right out the strut. Done, done. So now I need to get coils for the whole car. Sick. I'm already here, so might as well finish, right? I thought these were five inch springs that I had. Turns out they were four. So I'm gonna adjust the strut a little lower to compensate. Um, I didn't have full, full preload with the four inch springs. So I'm gonna adjust the strut down, I'd say like, half an inch and then uh yeah we'll we'll get this slap back together and then order coilovers within the next coming weeks i guess of course the other side decided to cooperate so that's good um actually i have to add two small washers on the top of this because with the low life top hats um they don't tighten down all the way and you'll have a little gap so when you hit bumps you'll hear a little ch -ch -ch -ch. and I had that the whole time and I never corrected it. So now that I'm doing the spring swap, might as well correct it, right? I lowered this on this side a half an inch. So I'm gonna do the same thing to this side and uh, we'll see how it turns out. <laughs> oh god. That's all tired. <laughs> That's all tired. The suspension the suspension doesn't suspension no more. So um it looks like I'll be uh I'll be lowering this 
now. Let me jack it back up and uh, fix that height and uh, we'll try that again. We got it. All right, all right. It's not a lot of clearance, but there's clearance, trust me. Now, when I push on it, it doesn't bottom out anymore. So I'd say that they did their job. All right, good job. I don't even know if I wanna to try to waste my time like doing the front today. The rear, that really, uh, that really set me off. And F it, let's go. All right, so I had to do some math before I could explain all this to you. So I was told that these were five inch, okay? So when I took these off and I saw that these were small, I thought these were four inch. And then when I took my fronts off, I was like, wow, I didn't think I had three inch. So I was right. I have four inch, five inch, and then these are six inch springs. So I have helper springs, right? That equate out when they get smushed to an inch and a quarter. Okay, wait, hold on. I gotta do math real quick. So if the spring is four inches and the helper spring is an inch and a quarter, that means at full compression it is five and a quarter. So if it is five and a quarter at full compression and I'm putting a six inch spring on, that means I should have to lower the preload on that or the height of it by three quarters, but I do need the car to go another quarter inch lower. So if I'm not doing three quarters, then I need to go a full inch lower. Yeah, that math sounds math. What? Adjust that one inch lower and throw it back in and uh, see what it does. You think my math, math? Math might be mathing. I don't know if my math, math. I'm off my game today. I'm off my game today. I blew a strut. Um, I was an inch and three quarters off in the height in the rear. Did my math, math. No, because <laughs> jack it back up. Is the math mapping? Jack it up. That little bit's gonna piss me off. That little bit. One more time, hold on. This is it, if this isn't it, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm giving it up. Giving it up. Let me see it. Yeah. Well, now we've reached a new problem in life. Um, the car is floored out because of where it, I'm parked. Um, it's not level, like at all in order for me to do what i'm trying to do i need to move the car from where it is and i don't have a steering wheel so this should be a fun movement if i get it to move let me know if y'all think it's gonna move because i don't think it's gonna move he literally was bouncing on the front and i could see the car teeter-tottering so he's got these fat tires so i'd be surprised honestly hold on i gotta find something to steer with because i don't have power steering so moving those big tires it ain't gonna work. You gotta stop driving it like a bitch. No, more aggressive. You gotta stop driving like a bitch. Thank you. I may have gone a little too low. Maybe just a little, but um, uh, we'll make it work.
I'm uh, I'm stuck right now. I'm really not trying to change the height from where it's at because like the height's perfect. It has clearance. It just it needs to be rubbed out. It's that part of the car. So once I get past that, I'm good. So since there is a decent amount of people here, I'm going to do my best to drive around the block. Because I think that's just all it needs, is it needs a nice good, a nice good scraping. Alright, well, now that y'all know what this sounds like, uh, let me get back to the shop. That one turned my that turned my whole day around. Um, the camera was messing up, so I wasn't able to record on my camera. I had to have them record on their phones. But that was nuts. Um, all I did was raise the front quarter of an inch from where we had it, and now it's perfect. Now it's perfect. Side skirts all the way on the ground. This is perfect. so we're gonna end that one here don't forget like comment subscribe um, honestly I do want to give it to somebody because I said in the video the three videos ago where I told you guys I ordered them and I told you how to comment what wheels I ordered first comment somebody said Steelys y'all are just y'all are too smart I can't get nothing past ya shout out to that guy good job good guess I do want to say a big shout out to Static um, I'm gonna post his car right here. And Tim is actually the one that I test fitted his wheel and I got the measurements for what specs I needed and everything. And he's the one that really made me, not made me, but helped me with uh, making this happen. So shout out to Tim, man. So don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, let's close you out. Life may throw obstacles at you that are gonna piss you off, frustrate you, and just throw you off your game. Keep your best to stay cool and keep working through the moment because you never know when the moment's gonna turn around and it may be the best experience of your life. Have a good day, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.